I told y'all, with so many female influencers giving their opinion on men's fragrances and what they find sexy, I want to tap into the feminine space a little bit more and put ladies onto fragrances that I think are sexy, especially on my significant other or my three other wives and girlfriends. I'm only kidding! You look just like my ex-girlfriend. She died last week. She didn't die, but you look just like her. So today I'm gonna put you on to 10 compliment grabbing fragrances for women that I feel are absolutely sexy and must try for the ladies that follow me, all 17 of you. As role mom, I'm use this so I can put you on to 10 super sexy compliment grabbing scent profiles that if no other dude compliments you, I absolutely will. <laughs> Listen, what morning, my beautiful peoples, you know who it is, it's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. Ladies, first of all, I appreciate each and every one of you for showing love to me on this platform that's catered to a bunch of degenerate, fat, dad body, move-having men. Clearly, you realize that I'm a complete sex symbol and I absolutely know what I'm talking about. Or you just like dirty humor and... That means you're awesome. And you're just so dirty. Either way, I do know fragrances. I do know what I would like to smell on another woman because I am in several situations that I do smell and notice what other ladies are smelling like. And no matter what, even if they're not my type, so to speak, which none of them are my type because I'm married. <clears throat> it isn't fair. But a sexy smell on a beautiful woman of all shapes, sizes, colors, jet, whatever, is irresistible. So ladies, these are fragrances that you can potentially blind buy, although I don't recommend it. Definitely go and sample. Some of these are available in department stores or you can buy samples online to see if they work for you. Because women are a little bit more particular than dudes when it comes to scents. And it all depends on your dress, on your fit, on your heels, on your bag, on your hair, the whole nine. Because some of y'all just go ham on your hair and getting that smell everywhere driving us absolutely ape shit. So the first fragrance I'm going to give you is an honorable mention that you can use that with. And that's a fragrance by Billie Eilish, which is Eilish. Now this one is a beautiful, creamy, seductive, almost caramel slash coconutty scent profile that's more catered to the colder weather, but has a beautiful allure and sweetness about it that makes it captivating for such a cheap scent. Something about this has this almost caramelic Play-Doh-ish type vibe with undertones of like sweet, sugary, vanillic, creamy, almost milky. And then you got this cottonish, clean, musky aspect to it. That's absolutely beautiful. So for the price point, I think Eilish by Billie Eilish and her cleavage is absolutely perfect for you to test out. Or in this case, you can blind buy it because it's really cheap. And if you don't like it, just give it to one of your friends and felt like you did. Because remember, no woman wants something that another woman didn't want. Oh, that sounds scandalous. Next one. I'm not going to argue with the female. So the first fragrance on the list that I think is absolutely beautiful only for women. This is catered to be a unisex fragrance. I don't believe so. Personally, I would never wear it. And when I spoke about it on the channel, I referred to it as the moving wedding crashes, that crazy little redhead chick that used to be married to Borat. Like a wild little ginger broad that's a nympho. That's me, Bisous, and Barik. That's 100% what this smells like. And I spit that before I even knew the inspiration or brief about this scent. Like I hit it so heavy on the head that the brand owner hit me up and sent me screenshots of the drawing inspiration which was exactly that a crazy red-headed nymphomaniac kind of chick scent profile which i was like yo i gave myself the only high five i sent that screenshot to like 10 of my boys i was like i'm that guy that's what this scent is i cannot pull this off and gingers kind of scare me because i'd find you <laughs> But it is a sweet, floral, almost tropical cacara, like a, like a seed or, or a, a, a skin of some sort of tropical concoctionary fruits with a lot of creaminess, smoothness, sexy and powdery energy about this scent. Like it's crazy enough that the fragrance on the lower left hand corner says you're gonna fall in love with me soon. That screams ginger all day. The fragrance again is creamy floral slightly chocolatey with a little bit of a boozy aspect you got floral powdery really sexy just not something that i could personally pull off so i didn't give it the highest rating for me but i said in the video that i would love to smell this on the shorty especially those who like to spray the back of your neck in your ear oh next one so i got introduced to this fragrance because i went to their release event which is house of oud guilty crush this is 
definitely for a baddie. Very sweet, cotton candy-ish, floral, musky, a little bit sharp, but that sharpness adds to that performance. And when I smelled this joint on various women in there, I was like, yeah. This is one of these sleeper joints that smells incredible. The notes in this fragrance are lipsticky, cherry, strawberries, vanilla, champagne, and like musky rose. What it is is sweet, candied, cherry, seductive, mysterious, kind of bubbly, a little bougie. She's a baddie, but she knows what she wants. She don't need you, but if she wants you, she'll take you. All right, guys, my ride's here. So guilty crushed by the House of Wood? Diablo, mami. The next fragrance is one of the go-tos for my wife, and that's by the house of Mason Margella, and that's Beach Walk, which ends up being perfect for this type of season. As you can see, she definitely put a dent in this piece because it automatically reminds you of a vey or staycation in a bottle. Think of laying on your towel with a nice good book. You got all the SPF one or one and a half for you shorties who like to get black as shit and get kissed by the sun. You got that sun lotion vibe. Your sun kissed. Your skin is almost chicharron. Very airy, salty. You smell the beach in this scent. I mean, it couldn't have been named any better. It's the perfect interpretation of a fully suntan, gorgerific body walking along the coastline of the beach. Absolutely stellar. Go run to a Sephora or Macy's, try this shit on your skin now that it's summertime, and let me know what you think of this, because I think it's, oh, let me sniff you next one. I call this, uh, you need to have it in your collection by the House of Kayali, Yum Pistachio. Uh, huh. 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 Yum Pistachio Gelato is insane. I think this is like the signature piece in the Kayali line. Like, Kayali's got a bunch of baddie scents. It's like, for the sexiest women of all walks of life, they have a scent for it. But this one, I mean, I don't know if the, the camera can pick up the dent. This is kind of like a, oh, I can't wear enough and it will never offend anyone kind of smell. It is nutty. It is creamy. It is vanillic. It is airy. It's almost crystallized sugar in being picked out of like an ice box of some sort. It has this cooling, nutty, creamy, I guess the whole overall perspective of a gelato in a scent profile. Delicious, mild spices. It's like a seasoned ice cream. This shit is wildly addictive. Musky, sweet, not overly sweet, not super candied. God, please wear this. What are you doing? All right, if you want to get your new next ex-husband, wear this one next one. By the house of Tom Ford, Velvet Orchid. Ass. Boss chick. C.E. Flow. Mama Soda. I'm not taking shit from nobody. I'm walking in here with my heels. Full confidence. My legs are waxed. My skin is like a baby dolphin. My hair just got done. My nails are on point. My skims is skimming. And I'm ready to take over the world and close massive amount of deals because y'all men ain't shit. And you're right, we're not. That's what Tom Ford Velvet Orchid is. Now this is a unisex fragrance. It leans a little bit more feminine, but it's a classic floral fragrance with a traditional Tom Ford DNA of this must violet leaf kind of energy off of it that I find to be class. Your class. Another one that I find wildly addictive to is probably because it reminds me of my chick, but it's molasses -y, it's sweet, it's floral, it's mildly boozy, but it's more on the molasses -y, honey, sticky side with a lot of floral components to it. It's just a boss level chick shit. Like ladies, if you haven't introduced yourself to this joint, you have to be at a certain caliber I feel in your life or in your career or essentially ready to take on the world. Like this can absolutely help boost that confidence fact that you're looking for and i think tom ford killed it with velvet orchid next one now this fragrance is by a great affordable line affordable in quotations because for a niche fragrance house you're usually looking at price points at 200 plus this lives in the space of one to 150 some odd dollars and that's room 1015's sonic flower beautiful santal floral type fragrance stellar perfectly sweet the right amount of irisy fruitiness it's got mystique it's got sexy energy it has this kind of alluring capability about it kind of like intriguing like the Pepe Le Pew old school vibe of that scent profile just bringing that individual in to garner their attention. I think Sonic Flower has that kind of energy. It's not overly potent or powerful or aggressive but it's more seductive, alluring and interesting. Not a fragrance that is probably talked about either enough or at all because people haven't gotten their nose on it but if you're comfortable in testing this fragrance out or spending a hundred bucks on a really pretty scent, Sonic Flower from Room 1015 is definitely 
really want to check out hey listen don't trust me trust your skin now we're gonna move into a bottle that's pretty much empty in my wife's collection and that's good girl gone bad by killian i don't know if you can tell but the fill line right now is like right around this point over here incredible now this one is the extreme version which is absolutely a performance based of floral powerful energy now with good girl gone bad it is a floral musky fragrance there's a little bit of a vanillic energy it almost has the smell of like freshly done laundry like when it comes right out of the dryer and you have this big fluffy towel you smell it after adding like a little fabric softener sheet and it has that aspect add an essence of like creamy vanillic and like cottony kind of scents then add the freshness of a couple of white florals maybe a couple of pinks and reds and then a little bit of a sweet sugary woody base elegance sexy loud this is for the women that are looking to garner attention from head to toe she is decked to the nines this outfit was pre-planned days ago because i was gonna show up and show out ladies if you're looking for that grenade of performance good girl gone bad by killian will absolutely have that and just have you courting your next suitor now this next one is a parfums de marley fragrance that i don't think anybody has talked about and that's parfums de marley saffinade again the dent says it all i don't even have to speak this is not unisex this is definitely feminine and the notes are listed in the back of this one let me see it's fruity orange pear followed by floral iris ylang ylang and amber sandalwood and vanilla now what i'm getting off of this joint is craziness Hello, the sandalwood aspect is definitely the star of it so it's for me amber sandalwood like neck and neck then you have that pear-ish kind of note which is pretty much like a ripe seeded fruit kind of smell and then you get the florals along with it really close to that midsection and that's kind of how the whole dna smells very potent does not scream summertime although she wears it whenever and however but for me it screams more fall and winter and definitely a standout also in that classy space atmosphere corporate work suit skirt blouse hair potentially pulled up of some sort but definitely sexy interesting and captivating now this next fragrance is kind of interesting i'm giving you ladies something aquatic and oceanic with a little bit of a risky note but i think it would smell absolutely beautiful and that's the harmonist sacred water now it's supposed to have like seaweedish notes uh, it's more of a floral sun-kissed salty aquatic fragrance that's fresh great for the summertime very beautiful very light not offending anyone and it's definitely a going out casual chilling in my kicks type situation now the notes in this fragrance consist of of mandarin orange there's citron again it's like seaweed magnolia orange blossom cedar and gingery aquatic notes and that's what you're gonna get out of this joint it is a spicy aquatic somewhat herbal beautiful floral easy to wear freshy with a casual nuance a very cute sexy swag doll kind of scent profile that i think is absolutely beautiful so if you're looking for a freshy with niche quality that are definitely different from everything else i recommended sacred water by the harmonist beautiful joint and it looks like some testicles you know y'all got us by the balls anyway. I play with these balls all day. And finally, a unisex fragrance I absolutely loved that I requested from this house is the House of Bow Casablanca. Casablanca. I mean... Just give me a moment. I keep referring to that Tony Braxton Spanish guitar song. That Spanish guitar... And you could play me through the night till the dawn. Ah! Fuck, this is good. This just screams like R&B to me. I'm having a Rolodex Spotify playlist in my head. Like, I'm thinking old school Anita, Tony Braxton, Tamia. I'm hitting all the super gems. Throw a little Snow Electra in this mix right now. Because I'm just... I'm gonna be neglected. I won't be denied the pleasure of your kisses, the pleasure of your smile. I sleep. Ooh, I need a thing, bitch. Yo, Christ, if a stupid mother like me can just be so alert, imagine a regular sane individual. He's going to be like, bro, she's not regular. She's not pulling off with some Versace gold label bullshit. She's not picking up a flower bomb bottle like the rest of them. Dare to be different because you watch me so it can't be any more different than that i love my ladies y'all are ball sprayers too my clam sprayers my under boob wire spraying hair or whisking bad bitch powerful boss women with amazing personalities and wonderful sense of humor that watch my content i hope you guys appreciate this list these are truly stellar 
compliment grabbing pieces that you should definitely test out and ladies if you want more of this content please share with your homegirls too be like yo there's a crazy little fat cuban dude who's kind of cute watch his shit he might make you laugh and leave your husband <laughs> all right the last part is bullshit but you know what i'm saying i love y'all motherfuckers from the heart ladies don't forget to like share and subscribe and let me know in the comments below what your absolute go-to sexy compliment grabbing fragrance is and maybe i'll compile a list off of those responses and feature them in the next video i'll see y'all so just next time you know it is biggest in the game smooches don't play for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse we don't talk on my mom's crib it's long since you never get in it's long since you would think that you would